Our definition of Web3 is just an evolution of the internet towards an internet where data is not centralized, data is not controlled by single organizations who have control about on your data. So uh, Web3 is a way to distribute the, that data. So you have several copies of, of your data on, an, on the network. So your data cannot be censored. Your data, even if parts of the network are having technical glitches, your data is still available because there are backups and copies uh, on other places over the internet. And your data is encrypted in a way that you own the decryption key. So only you can act on the data and you decide what you do with your data, whether you want to share part of that data with some applications or uh, services, or you don't want, that's a guarantee that you have with, with Web3. Mm. And in addition to that decentralization, uh, Web3 also adds a, a value component to the internet. So basically you can, through the usage of tokens, you can uh, pay for services in a seamless way uh, through uh, the, the integration of uh, the various tokens that uh, are available uh, on the platform. Let's say you take a social media company in the era of Web3. What does that actually look like in practice for users? From the user's perspective, uh, the user will use the same user interfaces, mm -hmm. the same apps on the phone. So there will not, not be any change from that perspective. The change will be on the background. So if, if you're talking about social media, in social media, there's a, a data component that is very core and key to the social media, which is called the social graph. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's the, the, the ar software architecture that describes all your interactions and the people you are connected with uh, through the social network. And that's really the, the sensitive data that belongs to you. I, I, I know my friends, the message that I exchange with my friends, etc. That piece of information mm -hmm. is right now centralized and kept within those organizations' data centers. In the, in the Web3 version of social network, that data will be uh, distributed across different systems, so no one has a single control on, on your data, and you will be the, the only one being able to unlock in, in your application the access to that data and lock it after, after uh, using it, so that no one else can take value out of the, your social graph and your interactions, mm -hmm. only you are in control of that.